Okay, we are not in the space shuttle. <laughs> this is actually the Tucker torpedo. Never built. First time ever. We're here with Sean Tucker. Hey. <laughs> okay, if you're not already following Sean Tucker or Rob Ida, you're missing out. We're here with Sergio Gamera. Don't follow me. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. This is all hand built and it's going to have all original, just like as if Tucker and was it Alex Tremellis? This, this is uh, George Lawson. George Sorry, yeah. Lawson. George Lawson came Are those Pratt guys? Where do they drive? Um, okay. Lawson was a General Motors guy. Okay. Um, he kind of, he had a stroke like kind of early in his career and, okay. and, and kind of went off the radar, but then mm -hmm. Alex Tremulis took over on the Tucker 48. Okay. So his, George Lawson's design was kind of a dash. Was this first? This was first. So this is first. They didn't build it. They modified it. I mean, just everything's so beautiful on this thing. Look at these curves up here. It's all hand built. Comes over here. It comes down. I mean, it's basically like this, like the title. It's a, it's a torpedo. <laughs> We're not even on the side with the finished panels. Now, would, would all this underneath stay? This will stay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's gonna say remove on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at this old school. Look at this. How it comes like that. You're sitting in a pod. Now this is the cool part. Sean does the Arduino and, and the Asala works and figures out how to make you know signals, um, complicated stuff like, what about this rotating chair thing? It's uh, it was a challenge. So, uh, working with Rob, you know, came up with a concept for how how we wanted the seats to work, and then it's you know it's taking it into solid works, making it right. work out mechanically, and then what a cool thing adapting all the Arduino for the control to make it work. Now, okay, so let's just talk about this for a second. Okay, they got center drive. Yep. So the way to get in is they rotate the the, the lazy Susan. Yep. And all three chairs rotate. Right. But they always stay straight. So when you get in, okay. they always face forward. So it's on some sort of chain? Yeah, and you can see there's a whole bunch of chain mechanism under there. Wow. You, you get a better look from the other side. Okay, let's head over there. Oh, but, this but, is so cool. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. It's, it's, a, it's a Porsche rear tub. Yes. Oh, so no wide, kidding. Yep. Porsche rear tub yep. out of an uh, air-cooled 964. Oh, really? Porsche air-cooled flat six. Oh, my God. That's the perfect thing because it's a small package, lots of power. Yeah, that right? is what Preston, uh, you know, the original design for the Torpedo was an air-cooled flat six. Oh, so yeah, yeah. At, at some point, you kind of have to go, okay, let's get something that's close. Practicality, <laughs> yeah. So the Porsche yeah. was a, a perfect option, so air-cooled flat six in the back. Wow, okay. Look at this beautiful, it's got nice shoulder butt things. <laughs> This is all hand, handmade by, by Rob Ida. He's, wow. He's quite the, quite the metal master. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. And then you got this trim. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh my god. Unbelievable. So what is it? Stainless? I don't know. Uh, this is all aluminum. Oh yeah? Wow. Yeah. All polished up. Unbelievable. And then here, let me just get in there. This is Arduino stuff, right? Yep. Now, what do you need the Arduino for? So the Arduino does uh, the turn signals, which you can see the switches on the two sides. And then, and then the four, they're, they're analog signals that are read in. And then, uh, I see some, are those coils or solenoids? Yeah, so that's a, it's a mechanical odometer. Because we didn't, we didn't want to use a digital one. So the Arduino takes the signal and twists the odometer as, as Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then it actually, there's no wires. We made it RF. So oh, wow. That, that's actually, uh, there's an XP module on the back side of that uh, Arduino unit. And there'll be a receiver that's underneath the dash. Oh, look at all the machine work back here. Yeah. So wait, where are the signals? Sorry. There's an XB module that's it, that Arduino's upside down. Okay. So that it, there's a uh, it'll send an RF signal to a receiver box that'll be wow. mounted under the dash, so you don't have to run wires for all oh, that stuff. Oh, that's yeah. We get it now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and you guys those, are trick uh, everything. All those needles and all that stuff is all 3D printed. That's all on an object. This super, here. Super high detail. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you lay them into the glass? Yep. Yeah, and that, that, you guys uh, don't mess around. <laughs> That's an this is laid in 3D printing, laid oh, yeah. into the into the glass. Oh, yeah. That is so like cool. The, the ends of the gauge pointers are actually the torpedo logo. So we, we made the counterweight for the gauge needles. Just his side. <laughs> wow. The version of the, the, the torpedo logo. Okay, my, my draws drop right on the floor. <laughs> I don't have a jaw anymore.
Oh, you can Look. see the mechanism Look. here. Yeah. This is your... Wow. This is supposed to move. Is it? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah the fenders fender. will turn with the No way, just like the Steering movie fender, they yep. said. Yeah, so the original design for the Tucker, the fenders move, not the center. Yep. Right. They got away from that. There was a car, or there was an, an accident in a... Um, a land speed attempt by Frank Lockhart That's what I'm saying. where they had a, a streamliner that mm. the, and they attributed the crash to it acting like rudders. Yep. Oh. So there's Oh yeah, I see. It was it was all I don't think it was necessarily ever Now I understand that. because of the wind. <laughs> but they got away from it because of that. Right. And I love this detail here. This beautiful, because there's going to be, that's like the center right there. Yeah, so that's actually, that's Rob's, uh, Rob's hole for being able to hold the panel by himself when he's shaping it on the hammer. Oh, wow. So it's, it's like the center of gravity, yep. so he can do it by himself. Wow. Um, what was I going to ask you? Okay, where, are, how do you hit the signals? Is there a little button for turn signals? Yeah, though? there's a trim piece that's missing. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. I got you. And just... And it's such a cool design. And then there's a light up here too. Yep. And that one stays straight. That one stays so this straight. one's stationary. Yeah. So unlike a Tucker 48 where that one turns, that one stays. And then this is the original. This is your buck. Yeah. yeah. So, and where's the model? It's in the Peterson Museum. Okay. In California. Okay. okay. So Bob Ida, Rob's father, took uh, the scan. They, they they took a scan of the okay. model and then digitized the whole thing and, and cut all the panels out on, on his CNC over there yeah. and, and then put it together like a puzzle. <laughs> okay, let me be clear for people watching this. Let me be clear what's happening. Okay, in 1948, you got a car company, super ambitious. Uh, Mr. Tucker hired the best artists in the business and they made plans to make this car. They had a model. How big is the model? What's the scale? It's a quarter scale. Quarter scale model. Changed the plans, went with a little bit of different design, then they were eventually going to get back to this, right? No. Okay, <laughs> so all right. They, they never intended to go back. It's kind of like a, oh. like a concept car, right? Okay. It's like a styling model. Oh, this was what got people excited. Exactly. This, so this was what was in the papers. Saw. Yeah, so this was okay. January of 1946. There was a magazine called Pick, which is kind of like a, it was a men's magazine okay. for, uh, back in the day. Uh huh. And they published the article, and it, they kind of show it in the movie where they start to get all the letters and all Oh, yes, stuff. yes. It's this car. And this wow. is the same car, so when, you know, when Rob got interested in Tucker's, yeah, this is the car that his grandfather saw that got him excited and made him buy a dealership. Okay, so it's been special so, for them too. And then also part of the story I should reiterate is that Rob's the guy who did all the work here. Rob's fa grandfather, grandfather was a Tucker dealer. Yeah, and he was a Tucker dealer for like three days or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. And then he got received. Got people. People were interested, and then the company folded because of financial and. It was a sad thing because it was supposed to revolution. It's almost like imagine if Tesla got started and then it didn't happen. Yeah. Or well, almost it's, almost like DeLorean it's too. It's kind of like the Model Three right now, right? So they're taking all these different right. on cars. Same thing. It's, a, it's exactly you never the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And can you imagine if Tesla folds and four hundred thousand people don't get their Teslas? Yeah, I hope not. I hope not. No, I know people are excited about that yeah. car. It's, right. it's a great story. God. It's just, and it's it's killer. It's no offense to Tesla, but this is a better design. <laughs> it is just look at this. This I don't know if the camera sees it, but this concave thing here and it stripes across there. It's just it inspires you. Amazing. Yeah, like, even even for people that aren't into cars, it's a, yeah. It's, a, it's such a such an elegant shape. Yeah. And then okay, so what I was saying about that was you took the quarter scale, they scanned it, they brought it back here, and then they slice it up, yep. MDF, they sandwich it together, and then you can check your panels against there. Right. Yeah. A lot of people think that you bend the panels over it. You don't bend them, right? Works, right? Okay. Yeah, this so is just for fit. Just for yep. fit. So, okay. So Rob will take each panel, shape right. it by hand, and yeah. it, there's a real art and skill to it. Right. To get the panel right, right. and then fits it to the buck to make sure it's the right shape. Okay. So then from there, they also have to build an understructure that combines it with some modern tech and also Sean did some amazing uh, details with as you saw with the steering wheel and with the rotating seats and when this thing is done this will be probably the most exciting concept slash hot rod project in the country I mean I don't know right yeah it's gonna revolutionize hot rods yeah this is a game changer Again. yeah <laughs> as it did way back when right now it's gonna be the real deal it's so cool I think a hot rod revolution. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Mr. G. We're with Sean Tucker, Sergio Gamera. See you later. See you later. <laughs>